Hey, this activity is pretty cool because it's in our International Project Wild Guide and um, it is an activity about something that's in Idaho. I don't know if you've been to the Morley Nelson Snake River Conservation, Birds of Prey Conservation Area uh, out past um, CUNA, but um, that is one of the areas that there's the highest concentration of raptors in North America. And one of the reasons they're out there is because of the Paiute ground squirrel. And they're out there because of the soil. So it's all tied into ecosystems. And um, what it is, is it, it actually says it's for high school, but I've done it before with uh, younger kids and it's it's fine um, you learn you'll learn about estivation which is kind of the opposite of hibernation that's what the ground squirrels have to do and the kids are going to make some predictions about why they think the the falcons leave and that sort of thing it's a super fun activity and once you read through it you'll figure out how it's going to work in your classroom and again it's kind of cool because it is um, all about um, the Snake River Birds of Prey area. And a um, couple things in there, we had a couple Wildlife Expresses, um, one on ground squirrels, one on falcons um, that you could implement into your um, lesson. And um, so there, there's that sort of thing. And then um, there's a graph, a, a PowerPoint graph that you can use and share with your kids if you're doing online or whatever. But anyway, Birds of Prey, and it does again say high school, but I, I know you can use it for probably not you know, primary grades, but I would say clear down to fourth. Mm, yeah, that might be a little bit young. Fifth grade at, for sure though. Um, and because they interpret graphs and that sort of thing. So uh, enjoy this activity and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.